In today's video, we will cover the basic functions of the PD scanner. First, you can see the battery indicator which shows the percentage of the battery on the unit. You'll notice a blank spot next to the battery, used for additional readings. This test set has a sensor to measure humidity and temperature. All sensors have a red dot to show you how to correctly connect the sensor to the test set. Simply connect the sensor to the bottom of the unit, like so. Once we connect the sensor, humidity and temperature will pop up on the display and can be saved. Measurements on humidity and temperature are important to capture in reports to compare against past and future readings. Now we see the new sign on the top right of the display. Afterwards, run a functional test to ensure the test set is working properly. To do this, we can inject TEV or transient earth voltage into the top of the test set. By returning to the menu, selecting TEV, and using our function tester, we can inject TEV into the internal sensors. As we inject TEV into the top of the unit, we will see the decibel reading increase on the top left corner. Through the menu, the very first thing we need to do after measuring the temperature and running a functional test is creating a folder for measurements. This can be done manually or by scanning a QR code. One important note, you will need to create two folders, one for background noise and one for actual measurements. Capturing background noise is helpful in comparing reports in order to derive correct results from your tests. By selecting the Rename Folder option, you can edit the file name on screen. Once completed, you'll see your new file name here. If left unchanged, the test date is used by default. Here we can see available tests the unit can run. You can expand these selections with external sensors plugged into the bottom of the unit. After connecting an external sensor, the test will appear here. If no external sensors are installed, only tests performed by the internal sensors found at the top of the unit will appear. The PD scan has a number of different packages that come with different external sensors for a variety of tests. We will cover each of these sensors in another video. For now, we will connect a high frequency CT or HFCT to the test set. With the red dot facing up, we will plug the sensor into the bottom of the test set. Once we've installed the sensor, the menu will change to show that this new sensor is available. To disconnect the sensor, simply pull the spring back on the lead. 